hi, I'm Catherine. I'm editor of Reader's Digest. And um, one of the best things about working for this magazine is working with uh, photographers and illustrators. It's really great fun. But the person who's behind all of that is my guest today, Martin Collier, who's our design director. Hello, Martin. Hello, uh, Catherine. So we're a general interest magazine. So what does that mean in terms for you of, of, of the sort of art and design that you're looking for? What it means is there were two things. One is that you've got an incredible range of subjects from very hard information, about yeah. very factual, to very kind of emotional stories, but you're trying to make a cohesive whole. You start with, uh, with kind of uh, the things that you commissioned, from uh -huh. celebrity photography to very ordinary people, and that's, that's an interesting yeah. thing because celebrities are very used to being photographed. Yeah, they have a to kind them all the time. Exactly, yeah. they have a way of approaching the camera. They, they've done it a lot of times before. Yeah. In fact, the difficult thing with celebrity photography is trying to get them not to, to put their photo face on. Uh, you know, it yes. takes a long time to break someone. We prefer a natural look. Uh, really yes, or we? if you're going for a particular kind of picture that you're working towards and they can be sometimes resistant to that. Yeah. I mean, it can be different. The, for instance, the Billy Connolly shoot. We so did our January cover. Our yeah. January cover was done in 12 minutes in the basement of a hotel, <laughs> and we set up a studio there. He walked in. The photographer made a, a connection quite quickly. Yeah, joked around. I mean, 12 minutes is no time at all yeah. for a photo shoot. I mean, speedy work. Speedy work. <laughs> <laughs> you would hope to have like an hour and a half with someone or two yeah. hours, but that's very different from shooting ordinary people. You know, it, it's the kind of Jane Bowen approach to yeah. photography. You know, Jane would turn up with a plastic bag and her camera in it the okay. most unthreatening person in the world to <laughs> photograph you. <laughs> and so like my and people, you look at her pictures and people are looking kind of puppy-eyed at her because she yeah. was so sweet. Uh, it was yeah. a brilliant way of getting so people. So not intimidating at all. Not intimidating. Just, yeah. So you, you've got to gauge that with, with photographing um, you know, ordinary, real people uh, yeah. as, as opposed to people who are used to acting in their everyday life. Yeah. And what about, um, say for instance, I took a, a picture recently where um, I used my smartphone but managed to get my finger in the way, <laughs> just like the old days, really. What about Photoshop? Because everybody nowadays has got Photoshop and they want to try and improve their pictures. Yeah. Do you have any tips? I don't paint anyone out of my home <laughs> photos <laughs> in a Stalin-esque way, <laughs> removing people you don't want in the pictures. Yeah. I mean, I think we do what I would call a, a light amount of retouching. And I would say, for the most part, that very few pictures that you see in a magazine have not had some some work done Some to work them. Done to them. Bit but in terms of kind of taking your thumb out of a smartphone picture, that's actually incredibly easy now to do uh -huh. with, with cloning tools and uh, right. in Photoshop. So what about any um, really funny things that have happened in terms of doing photo shoots or anything or anything that's gone horribly wrong? Is I do remember when we sent Ben Schott to photograph Tony Blair. And they did it at Checkers, and they had set aside a broom cupboard for Ben to <laughs> photograph him in. And Ben broom just. Broom cupboard at yes, Checkers? Yes, and he threw a strop, which I thought was kind of <laughs> impressive. You know, I mean, normally you kind of, especially if you're around power, you tend to be very yes, subservient you, yeah. to it. And Ben said, I, This is ridiculous, <laughs> I can't photograph in here. And so made them give him a much grander room. Yeah. And then Tony Blair came in with a tie, he said, oh, God, no, 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 take, take that off, and made yeah. him change into a polo shirt. And yes. kind of was very bossy, relaxed, and I yeah. thought that was kind of impressive, because yes. I think in the same situation I would have been, you know, yes, well, <laughs> whatever you want day. me to do. <laughs> Thank you very much. My favourite uh, design that we've got, uh, this is in our February issue, which is just out now, is uh, this one, this one here, because we've got the really beautiful picture of the young woman. She's in traditional dress. This is a tribe in Burma. And uh, th these are some New Year celebrations here as well. And this is even more amazing. It's a ladder that's made of knives. And as part of these celebrations, this man is climbing up a ladder of knives. So mm. what's lovely about this is, you know, it just looks so good. And also it really makes you want to read on and it really makes you want to find out this story. So for this and lots of other great stories and great design, then check out our February issue, which is out now. Thank you.